Welcome back to Pete Punch Beef Gaming, where today we're going to do an unboxing. Specifically, we are going to unbox this new Battle Force, the Caradon Overlords uh, for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Super excited about this one uh, to go over it. Uh, it looks like a pretty cool looking force overall, to be honest with you. Uh, as some of you know, I recently picked up some of the new Sons of Behemoth Giants, and then, of course, my primary army is the Ogre Kingdoms. Uh, but I gotta tell you, these little stunties have been calling my name, and uh, the Battle Force box, uh, the Bakar, now our Skyfleet, I think is how you pronounce it, uh, really spoke to me for whatever reason. I you know, don't know exactly why, but it's pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead uh, and talk a little bit about the specifics. This was one of four battle boxes that came out. I think there was uh, the Ogre Kingdoms actually released a battle box, as well as I think there was uh, some goblin work and goblins, and then I don't remember what the, the fourth one was outside of the Caradon Overlords. But um, this one retails at $210, $210 US. Uh, and I think the value on it's pretty sharp. Doing the math on it overall, I think if you bought all of these models separately, it comes up to just shy of $310, so like 308, something like that. So you're getting almost $100 free worth of models, so pretty darn exciting when you get down to it. So if you get a chance, you might wanna check these things out because I think they're all fairly comparable in terms of discount and cost. With that, let's do a quick take a look at the packaging and what you get in the box, and then we'll uh, open this sucker up and take a look at the sprues. Okay, guys, here is the front of the box. Uh, you can see it looks like we've got a couple of gunships. Uh, we've got a frigate, a uh, commander, and then we've got a couple of Skyden Wardens and some engine riggers as well. Uh, overall... Here's a quick peek at what we've got going on here. Uh, right here in the middle is the Arcanaut Frigate. Uh, you've got the Grunstock Gun Haulers. I think we get two of those. You get three um, Engine Riggers and a Sky Warden. And then, of course, you get Brock Grunison, uh, who uh, is the commander of the fleet. I'll do a quick um, zoom in on the box here so you get an idea of what we've got rolling here. We've got the frigate itself, which is pretty slick. Kind of goes through the different guns that are available. Skyhook, Navigator, Gunner. You can see the bombs on there, which are really cool. And then it kind of shows you, you've got uh, the different models here that come in the thing overall. So, with that, let's go ahead and crack this sucker open. Okay. Open it up. Oh, it looks like it comes in this smaller box, which is nice, so the screw sprues aren't just loose. Gets a nice plastic wrap there, or bubble wrap. And then, uh, this looks like the sprues for the the gun hauler itself. If you take a look at it, and then it looks like uh, some additional components here. Get this out of the background so you're not seeing that against it. Give you a good look at the bombs and part of the hull. Really nice, really good details. Here it looks like we've got uh, the frigate sprues themselves. These are really nice. Super nice and detailed looking at them. They've got, looks like some stuff on the, the holes itself. You've got, comes with the bases. Looks like for the Sky Wardens and the Engine Riggers. Here is what looks like Brock, the, perhaps the, um, the Army General. That's his sprue right there, as you can see. Really detailed. 
And then, uh, looks like another gun hauler sprue. So two of those total. And then we've got, looks like uh, the sprues for the riggers themselves. Lots of good bits to take a look at. And then, finally we've got the engineers here that we'll pull out. Looks really clean, not a lot of mold lines, good bits, probably some leftover parts if you're interested. I don't know a whole lot about this army. I mainly picked it because of the aesthetics. I thought it looks kind of cool. Reminds me of like uh, Space Marine Dwarfs. Squats for us old timers. Uh, additionally, we get a couple, there's the base for the frigate, the gun hauler, and then one more for the gun hauler. You get a number of flying stands here. For both, it looks like, the characters and the ships themselves. Perhaps some extra ones. Overall. And then you get, I think that's Brock's base. And then, lastly, you get a series of manuals for putting them together. And it looks like you get, they have, uh, looks like they're... Uh, battle cards in the back here. The frigate. Oh, that's nice. And look, you get uh, how they paint it up there is out of the, the book. If you want to go with the standard, they give you the paint schemes on it. And then, of course, they've got the rules. And here's the gun haulers. The directions they've got there. Nice step-by-steps. If you haven't seen these before, where it shows like um, the new add-ons, in this case, you're putting on the blimp or the armatures or the props, whatever the case may be. Um, and then you can see they've got the stats and attributes uh, in a variety of different languages. And then, of course, um, you've got the sky riggers and the engine riggers. And that is the entirety of the box. All right, so now that we've gone through the contents of the box, let me just give you my thoughts again. So in terms of value, like I said, it was, I think, $308 if you just do the math on the GW website. Uh, that's, of course, in U.S. dollars again. Uh, relative to the MSRP at your local game store, which is $210. Uh, and then, I don't know, if you find some places that you can get discounts, uh, it's at least uh, $98 off in terms of models and whatnot. Uh, the content looks really clean. It's classic GW quality, really sharp, few mole lines, lots of extra bits, um, heavily, heavily detailed. They're pretty much top of the line in my mind in terms of plastics, especially when it comes to putting them together. I find them pretty easy to approach. I I'll tell you, I think that uh, Weird Models does some really nice sets as well. But generally speaking, those um, those are a little bit more advanced. Not not bad, they just take a little bit more practice hand, in my opinion, to run with. So I think it's it, these are seem to be fairly approachable in terms of ease of putting them together. Quality is super nice. You're getting a discount. Um, I think generally speaking, Games Workshop, um, charges a premium for their products. Uh, and I think the premium's worth it. The gameplay for Age of Sigmar as a whole is super easy and approachable, especially for new gamers. Um, so at 210 bucks, I think this is a heck of a steal. I'm, I'm super excited. If you're a new gamer looking to get a new faction, uh, I think looking at these, um, uh, battle force boxes is probably the way to go. Uh, same with 40K, they've got a number of them to boot. Uh, if you are looking to pick up a new army like I am, where you just, what the heck, let's give it a go. I feel like uh, this is a pretty good approach as well. You know, for you competitive gamers out there, I don't know if everything in here is top tier competitive in a tournament. Uh, 
Um, but you know, as far as I'm concerned, um, putting this stuff on the table and fielding it to me seems pretty darn cool. I'm guessing this is probably, uh, uh, no earthly idea, but probably somewhere between 500 and 1,000 points when you get right down to it. I'll have to do some math on that and, and take a look. But um, it seems like a really nice entry point, and I'm super excited to have it part of my collection. So hopefully this video as a whole will let you get kind of an idea of what you're getting out of this. Um, certainly the Caradon Overlords are not a brand new faction, but I think it's a repackaging, and I think it's a really good repackaging. And if I'm not mistaken, I think there's these are kind of a limited run, so if you're interested, Go out and get it because uh, they won't be on the shelf forever. All right, that's it from Pete Punch Beef Gaming today. If you like what we're doing, please like and subscribe. And we'll be coming back with more unboxings, reviews, uh, and hopefully some playthroughs before too long. All right, thanks, everybody. I really appreciate you supporting my new channel. Take care.